97.9, KISS FM, it's Big Papa and Banna, and on the Lennon's Jewelers Hotline, the one, I'm so excited about this. I know, me too. Uh, the, the Freddy Krueger himself, Mr. Robert England, good morning, sir, how are you? Trick or treat, Banna. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Wow. I don't know if that's the creepiest thing or the coolest thing I've ever heard. some candy for you, baby. <laughs> oh. Okay, now it just went to creepy. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, now listen, Robert, it is a Creeper Free Friday. Number one, good morning. How are you? I'm good, you guys. My favorite day of the year. Mine too, mine too. I, you know, I see, I was, that was going to be one of my questions. If, if Halloween was your favorite or your most dreaded day of the year because of Freddy Krueger. Well, you know, part of me, uh, it's like it's like the guy that knows how to drink on New Year's Eve. I leave it to the amateurs. Uh, but it also has become, over the years, a, a, it also has become, you know, over the years, a very lucrative day for me in, in terms of, like, I, I'm either doing talk shows uh, or uh, a personal appearance. And so th- that element comes into it, too. I have to sort of stay home and defend my house, though, defend, hold down the fort. Because you know the trick or treaters tend tend to mob me. I, I've been lucky the last couple of years because the yuppie dads a block over uh, have, have gotten real serious about Halloween and Christmas decorations. So they have a, quite the block party. Oh wow! For Halloween nice. and uh, it takes it takes the edge off a little bit around here. So so let me ask you this: um, Do do people in your like in your neighborhood and on your block know that you are you? And and come at and come at you uh, especially for like you know for Halloween and stuff like that. Or are you are you just kind oh, of yeah. I mean they, they've they've known for like twenty five years uh, you know that that I'm here and and actually they're all pretty blasé about it you know because they see me around in my you know in my shorts and my tennis shoes gardening and everything and uh, yeah, so no I'm I'm like I, I'm just you know the neighbor I'm you know and but the, what happens is as as kids grow up. As people move in and out, uh, there's always sort of the rumor, you know, that Freddy Krueger's, that's Freddy Krueger's house. So people do come, uh, you know, come up uh, uh, specifically to see me. We, we have an old cutout of Freddy from the old uh, mom and pop uh, VHS store days. That wow. We stick in the window and, and my wife's got a skull full of candy, you know, and we, we have a little fun with the kids. And, and yeah, we, we get a couple of Freddy's, uh, Freddy Krueger's, although recently, and I'm not a fan of this, I think Halloween should be scary, but recently we've had an awful lot of My Little Ponies showing up. <laughs> <laughs> Robert England. I'm a... My Little Ponies out of here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Robert... I want some zombies. I want zombies. No pon- little ponies. Seriously. <laughs> the original Freddy Krueger, Robert England on the Lennon's Jewelers Hotline. Do you take it as a compliment when people dress up like Freddy for Halloween? Well, yeah, and, you know, the last couple of years, you know, the new phenomenon has been the Freddyettes, the Fredericas, the girls. Oh, they're They've hot. sort of co-opted Freddy. They've taken the power away from him. And uh, just like the girls in all the franchise movies do, just like the Survivor girls always defeat Freddy. So these little sexy uh, mini skirts of the Freddy sweater belted around the middle with, with tears and slashes in it around the cleavage and stiletto high heels. And uh, they wear the little little fedora and they have a claw or they put the, the, the extended press on nails on with red and green stripes and some of them even have a little slash across their face almost like they're Freddy's minion. You didn't think you'd look that good with boobs, did you? I don't know. I mean, these, I like these little hot, I like these little sexy Freddies. I'd like to get my picture, I'd like to get my picture taken in front of about six of them, like that old Robert Palmer video, you know, with all the girls behind yeah, we'll, him. We'll play, we'll play Simply Irresistible, we'll be good to go. Exactly. I mean, it looks like I'm in some rock band from hell. <laughs> now, Robert, tell me about uh, the, the the last showing. It's on demand and it's available on iTunes right now. And yeah, you're, you're this, the star I'm of this really thing. happy you, I'm really happy you asked. You know, this is the best work I've done in about 20 years. Uh, I, I sort of channeled the late, great Richard Attenborough uh, from, an, from a movie that I remember in college called Seance on a Wet Afternoon about this little mousy guy who was a serial killer in England. But uh, I play the old projectionist at the Suburban Mall Cinema, and I've been fired. And uh, they make me work in the concession stand selling popcorn in a little paper hat and a day-glow orange vest. And I'm so humiliated. 
decided that I volunteer for the midnight movie shift and I have my revenge and I make my own horror movie in the in the cinema. I, I lock it down and I manipulate the elevators and the escalators and the movie screen and the concession stand and I take an unsuspecting young couple and I trap them and I make my own horror movie and it's really, really creepy and wonderful and I'm real happy with it. And it's available on demand and also on, on demand iTunes. right now. It's my, my Halloween gift to my fans. It's uh, Robert England on the Lennon's Jewelers Hotline. You can visit robertengland.com. Just so you know, as you were describing the last showing, the expressions on bad, you're freaking the hell out of Banner right now. You are. No, I, listen, Halloween is my favorite holiday, and if there's anything that I love being like being on Halloween is definitely scared. All so. right. Well, what you need to do then is move into Robert England's neighborhood. That's and, what I'm saying. And watch him in his shorts and his tennis sneakers gardening. Yeah. But yeah, then, 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 then instead of Freddy versus Jason, you'll understand it's more like Freddy versus Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but Robert, uh, I, I was Googling, uh, th- yesterday was Throwback Thursday, and yeah. uh, so we, you know, we're a KISS station, so we play you know, some, uh, some old Top 40 songs and whatever, and somebody requested Nightmare on My Street with, uh, with Fresh Prince and Jazzy Jeff. Now, that's your voice in the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the song, right? Yeah, I did a whole bunch of stuff like that, but you know what's weird? When I wrote my book, uh, Hollywood Monster, I went online to that, that site where you, get, where you can like, type in lyrics, Right and see all the all the songs that, that that have that lyric in them and I put in Freddy Krueger and I realized Eminem has sung about me and uh, and and uh, oh my God it's on the Little Wayne it, it's just, you know it's just amazing how many rap songs and rock songs have included Freddy Krueger in the lyrics so I, I you know I've only heard about a third of them you know I, I've, I've researched about a third of them but it's you know when Jay Z mentions your name in a song that's pretty cool well, yes well Robert here's the thing. Thing. I mean, um, I'm I'm in my mid 30s. Ben is in her mid 20s, and for both of us, you were a part of our childhood. You know, you're part of. You know, if, if, when you go to, it's a Halloween scary movie. Freddy Krueger's right. You know, you. Oh, yes. You know, it's like you and Jason. You two are like the the you, you know the go to. Yeah. If there was a if there was a Mount Rushmore of horror movies, it would be you, Jason, Chucky, and the Pinhead dude. Oh, get that Chucky out of there. No, I, <laughs> I actually know all those guys. You know, my makeup man created Chucky and Doug Bradley. Pinhead's a good buddy, and so's Kane Hodder, who plays Jason. It's not like we all sit around in the malt shop on Sunset Boulevard no. waiting to be discovered on a stool with Lana Turner. But I, 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 I met and worked with all those guys over the years, and they're all, they're all great guys. And, and you know, it, it's just that thing where I think we're very fortunate in that my career in horror uh, and my success in horror came of age at the same time as video, MTV, uh, and then cable, and then DVDs, and now box sets of both, and Blu-ray, and and uh, and, and more cable, and specialized cable like Horror Channels, and Chiller Channel, and Sci-Fi Channel. So I'm actually on to my third generation of fans now, because if you take a 12-year-old boy, and, and he's having a sleepover, you know, there's a sleepover, and, and he's got his friends over, and his dad gets him down in the man cave, and pops on, you know, Wes Craven's new Nightmare, or, or Nightmare 3, Dream Warriors, you know, a Blu-ray, you know, digitalized, remastered DVD, which uh, hopefully, and, and pops which, it on the flat screen TV, the 50-incher. Which hopefully the you're getting a cut of. It looks better now than it looked when it came out. And I really hope you're still getting a cut of those sales. I'm not saying, but I'm saying... Well, you know, I you know all actors get residuals, so that's nice. Okay. And, and and I usually get a bump in my residuals this time of year anyway, because they up. have you know Nightmare on Elm Street marathons on some of the channels, um, which I watch every yeah. year. <laughs> Robert England on the Legends Jewelers Hotline, the original Freddy Krueger, and the last showing is on demand and also on iTunes. And there's a lot of stuff at robertengland.com as well. I realize it's uh, today is the busiest day of the year for you here on Halloween. Uh, ben and I definitely appreciate the time. Uh, I've got to go make my candy apples. Absolutely. Uh, and he's out. <laughs> yep. Making candy apples. Robert Eagle, the original. How cool was that? Robert, that was awesome. Freddy Krueger on Halloween. Absolutely fantastic. We're going to break a bag, Big Papa Ben on Kiss FM.